friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I am Kayla, and thank you for being here today. I am happy to be here with you guys, because I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> so, guess what? I decided I was going to crochet. Now, this is my first time crocheting with two fingers. I did this cluster right here. It looks okay. So, I'm going to try to crochet more clusters. I don't know how I'm going to chain to start a project. I haven't figured that part out yet, but I think I can double crochet and do some greeny stitch clusters here. Just because um, it's already there. Now this is slow go, and it's almost painfully slow for me, but we got to start somewhere. I think it would get faster in time. Just making sure my yarn didn't split there. So I can do this. Now I don't know about, I think this is easy because it's a project that's already started. I don't know that um, about chaining to start a project. Look at there. And this is number three. <clears throat> now, two down, 7,000 more to go. <laughs> this is a duck blanket that has started for one of Big Daddy's co workers' grandbabies that, uh, you know, do want to finish. I want to do the face on this. This is a duck face. And then that's the ring around the duck, like a mallard duck. And then brown for the duck. And then I'm doing this camouflage blanket. I know this kind of looks awkward. And you're like a duck. I don't see a duck. Well, there's a duck here. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go ahead and do the duck face before the blanket gets very big because I don't want to be flipping a big blanket back and forth trying to you know sew the little pieces on and stuff so um but at the rate I'm going I think I can crochet on it a week and not get very big so that's what I'm doing that's what I'm doing I just got these two thumbs to work with and by the way why don't we just go ahead and say it does anybody want to take the thumb challenge and today only Today, um, you can only use your thumbs. You can't use the rest of your fingers. You can only use your thumbs and see what you can accomplish, um, you know, around your house, in your crochet, in your craft, whatever it is you do, with only your thumbs. You can't use the rest of your fingers. Anyone want to take that challenge? Let me know how that goes for you. It is painfully slow. That's, that's how it's going for me. Ah. <laughs> uh. I can do it, but it's really, really slow, and then sometimes it just comes off the, the yarn comes off the hook, and sometimes it's hard to um, get it through the loops, and I don't want my loops and all that to be too big and gappy, but that's what I got to work with, so that's what I'm using, so... I mean, yeah, I can do it. It's just really slow. And like I said, I don't know about starting projects or starting the pieces for this face. I should have already crocheted them, knowing that this was coming up. I should have done a lot of things before I had surgery, but I just didn't have time to do everything that I wanted to do. That's my chain. I'm chaining one in between clusters. So. Mm. Yeah, at times this is quite hard. 
But I, I, I gotta keep attention. I gotta figure out how to keep attention there. Not attention. Tension on my yarn. To, um... Get my... You know, so my stitches are all the same. And the tension on them... Is not so gappy and such. But I guess I'll figure it out over time. Uh, I don't know. Crocheting like this, I'm having to hold this arm up. My shoulder started hurt, starts hurting. Real quick, like. I don't know. I gotta hold my mouth just right and I can't talk at the same time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, friends, friends. Am I gonna be able to do this? Yes, I can do this. I just don't know what else. Okay, so now I gotta do a corner. It's not that the corner's any different, except it's got two chains in between, but I don't have anything over here to hold on to, to hold my project down. Yeah, it's hurting my shoulder really bad. Well, I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm bored out of my mind and I'm trying to crochet because I really can't, like, I went in my doll room, I was going to, you know, take some photos and stuff in there, but I can't really, like, dress my dolls or do anything like that um, with two thumbs. That's not working. So I came back in here and sat down, and I was just like, well, okay, that's one chain, two chains, okay. I came in back in here and sat down, and I was just like, well, let me just see if I can crochet some double crochets on that duck blanket, because I need to get to work on this. I need to be crocheting faster than this. <laughs> like y'all know, I'm I crochet pretty fast normally. So this is almost like painfully slow for me. Plus, it's hurting my shoulder the way I'm having to hold my arm up because I can't hold my project up. Because normally, before I held my project with that middle finger and my thumb held my project I'm trying to see I need to chain one I'm trying to see what I can do I don't know Some way that pinky's gonna have to help out. And if I could hold my project, wait. If I could hold my project with this, that pinky's gonna have to step up and help. <laughs> like pinky, you gotta help me. I can't do this without you. Although, I'm really trying not to use that pinky too much. 
just because, um, you know, the swelling hasn't went down and I have stitches in here, which I will be opening this bandage later today for a first look at finger amputation surgery site or something like that. Yeah. I know some people like to see stuff like that and some people don't. So if it's not your thing, you don't have to watch that video. But some people just want to see. Some people are curious. I have a friend who loves medical photos. And she always wants me to send her photos of anything medical. Scars and stuff like that. I'm like, Jessica, you're a little bit weird. <laughs> but she does. Well, I'm doing it. I just got to figure out an easier way to do it. Right? Okay, I got me a little bit of yarn. Alright, so I still got to do one more. I don't know. If I hold my yarn, I need to hold my project. But I need to hold that yarn, too. I need to keep the tension on the yarn. I do have this little tension ring that I had got at Hobby Lobby with intentions of using this. But, um, I may have to wait. I don't know. It may be too big for this. I'm going to have to wait until I get that bandage off. Um, so it will slide down on my finger. But I do plan on trying that to see if that helps. Oh, look at there. I don't know. This might get faster. But I am having to hold my arm up. The arm that I'm crocheting with. And so my shoulder is filling it. I don't ever remember my shoulder filling my, you know, pains from crocheting before. So I think it's just the way. If I was, yeah, because I see I'm not resting my arms. I'm holding this arm up trying to do all this. And that's affecting my shoulder. So if I can find a way to, you know, keep my arm on the table like I used to. I don't even know how many clusters I got right here, but let's see. Three. Just the right amount. I mean, not clusters, but double crochets. I know I said I wasn't going to try to crochet until the swelling went down and all that, but God, I'm so bored. <laughs> I just need something to do. Like I said, I went in my doll room. Everything, I mean, I needed to, like, set up little scenes and stuff. I, I can't really do that with just this pincher. I can't look, put little tiny items and arrange them. That was, you know, very frustrating. I was just knocking stuff over, so I decided just come in here and try to do this but see that yarn split really bad so here I am okay so how am I gonna chain like when I start a new project and I need to chain you know ever how many when I chained before, I, I, I used this device. I have, I have these little hand things all over the house and in my bags and stuff like that. And I would use this thumb and these fingers to like hold that chain 
so that the little loops weren't so tight. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that th now. But I'll figure something out, I guess. Hopefully. Hopefully I can figure that out. Ugh. So, is anybody else trying to crochet with two thumbs? I'd be very curious to see how you are faring with that. Or how you're doing anything with just two thumbs. It's not easy. But I would love for someone to take the challenge and let me know how that goes. Now see, that one went pretty smooth. Maybe the more I do it, the easier it will get. That's what I'm thinking. But it's still, I'm having to lift this arm up off the table. And that's... Um, that's a little bit painful. A little bit. I had to hold my mouth just right, too. <laughs> if y'all could see me. <laughs> Thank goodness you can't see me, because... Yeah. Ugh. Whew, I think it's the hardest on my arm right here to hold, and hold this arm up. Because, um, let me see if I can do it without lifting my arm. Not really. No, I'm not just having to move that arm too much. I think before, I just used my wrist. And it wasn't that big a deal. That's what I'm thinking. Uh. I gotta get to this corner and join. And then jump up for a new row. What I need to crochet for the face is some eyes and a nose, no, a beak, eyes and a beak, and I was going to put some hair spurs right here, There's three feathers coming up, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do any wings and put on it or not, it just kind of depends if I can crochet them or not. Well, this is a slow go video. <laughs> yeah. But I just wanted to let you guys see that how it's going for me. Uh, yeah, I sat down here and I did that one cluster and I was like, holy cow, look at there. And I thought, well, let me just record this so you guys can see my first stitches. I, I don't know about this though because really holding this arm up and I'm, I know I'm harping on that but it is causing me other problems it's also across the top of my back it's hurting my shoulder and across the top of my shoulders across my back so that's not my ideal way of crocheting I don't want my crochet to cause me more pain
and I have not even taken any pain medicine for my hand for my surgery site see I had surgery Friday morning and it is now Sunday afternoon and I have not taken any pain medicine it hurts but it's not like this unbearable pain that I can't stand if it was like that I would take the pain medicine I do have 15 milligram of morphine I could take they also gave me 50 milligrams of Ultram but I already know that Ultram don't do anything for me and they did make sure I knew not to take those two together but um I hadn't taken anything because the pain I'm feeling now is nothing compared to the pain before surgery that surgery was I mean that pain before surgery was just crazy painful and now it's it's painful but not so unbearable that I can't stand it and a little bit of pain lets us know we're alive right that's how we know we're still alive because <laughs> I know that sounds stupid I know I'm just being stupid but seriously a little bit of pain lets us know we're alive if we didn't hurt somewhere how do we know we're alive so I can stand a little pain I just can't take it when the pain is so unbearable that, you know, you just want to scream. Not that it would help, but... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> at times I feel like I got it, and at times I feel like is not going to work. I know it's going to take a lot of practice. It is. It's going to take a lot of practice. And plus, I'm just using two thumbs. When I get to this corner, I'm going to stop and rest. One more cluster. boring I need to do a um, chain alright so now I'm ready to jump to connect slip stitching and I always slip stitch into that middle instead of that chain three and then I slip stitch into the next one double crochet that I'm slip, slip stitching into and it's picking up yarn from the blanket itself okay now I got it 
Maybe. <laughs> Whew. I didn't think I was going to get that one done. Now I got to slip stitch into my corner. Okay, so, hey, other crochet YouTubers, anybody want to take the two thumb challenge crochet and make a video of you crocheting with two thumbs? I'd love to see it. Tag me in your videos. Let's see. I got chain three. Start the next row to go up one, uh. two, and three. Well, I got one more, one more chain. <laughs> yeah, I made it, I made it. <laughs> now I can do my double crochet. But I'm serious, guys. If you have a YouTube channel and you crochet, I would love to see you crocheting with just your thumbs. Can't use anything else. Because I want to see how you do it. And that might help me also, but let's do this challenge. Tag me in your videos. Um, if you um, don't have a channel, please let other channels that you watch know about the, the thumb challenge. And see if anybody will join in. I don't know. Who's going to be brave enough to try it? Who do y'all think would try this? Mm. Whew. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm wore out. <laughs> I'm completely wore out. <laughs> this is this is really, really uh, hard on my arms and my shoulder and across my back. I'm feeling it all across my shoulders. I got chain two. Mm. One. And <laughs> I can't get it through. I'm, I don't have that loop tight. I'm, I'm, you know, purposely leaving it loose to get the hook back through it. But it's picking up with me now. Whew. I'm done. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. I appreciate you being here. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet with your thummies. Get a thumpkin working out. And So if you don't have a channel and if you take the challenge, just let me know how it went for you and what you think about crocheting with your thumbs only. Bye, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope you have a great Sunday evening. And, um, I already had a video earlier this morning. It was about, what was it about? It was about my granny, sweetheart granny rectangle blanket finished. I showed it completed. And then this video, and actually I'm fixing to record another video here in a little bit. I'm going to take the bandage off of this and see what that looks like. I'm supposed to 
take the bandage off, clean it, and put a band-aid on it. So that video will be for some people, and some people it's not, and I understand that. I'll give you warning when I go to do that, when I, you know, come on and talk about it, and then I go to take it off. I will give warning before people see that part. All right, guys. Love you. See you later.